What's up guys, Sim here, and this is Street Race Talk episode 262, and today is Christmas, and I want to start off this week's episode by saying thank you to all those that have been wishing me Merry Christmas. People have been leaving comments on my Instagram posts, messaging me on Instagram, leaving comments on my YouTube videos, and I just thank you all so much for that. But most importantly, I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And for those that don't know, today is a very special episode of Street Race Talk, one of the most special episodes we have ever made. Like I mentioned, today is Christmas. The date is December 25th, 2020. Street Race Talk, episode 262. Now, if we were to go back five years ago today to December 25th, 2015 that would be the day street race talk episode number one went live and i remember recording that episode i remember coming out on christmas i don't remember why i think we just had that like a little break between doing stuff and there was not really much going on at the time and i was like, you know what let's just go record this i have no idea what made me decide to come out here and record street race talk episode number one but I was thinking about it, I'm like, that's probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Coming out here and just making that video, recording that, and look how far we have come. Here at Street Race Talk, episode 262, five years later. And in that first episode, I said, we're going to do these videos once a week, and I'm going to see how long I can go. Who would have thought, five years later, we wouldn't have missed a single week? That, to me, is just so crazy and so mind-blowing, and thinking back at all these previous episodes we have made. I remember for the first probably year, year and a half, they would get maybe a couple hundred views if I was lucky. Most of the time it was like 30 to 70 views. Then I remember the first video that really started to take off was when I said that Daddy Dave was going Pro Charger on Goliath. That video got like 50,000 views. And at the time I was getting around a couple hundred views. That was mind blowing to me and huge. And at the very beginning, there was no one watching. I was talking to no one every single week, but it, it didn't matter to me because I came out here because I genuinely have a love and passion for this stuff. And I've said this story multiple times, why I started making these videos in the first place. And there's two reasons behind that. One, I was inspired by the Chief and Sean show because I listened to them. I was like, it seems so much fun talking all this stuff. I want to do that myself. And number two, because I didn't have anyone to go out and talk to about it myself. None of my friends or people I know in real life have any interest in Street Outlaws or Street Racing in any way, shape, or form. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just talk about it online. People are bound to listen eventually. And I just thank you to all those that have discovered my channel and started watching my videos and listening to me talk about all this stuff and interact with me in the comment section. We message back and forth and talk about all these crazy things going on in this crazy world we live in. It's just, it's so much fun making these videos. And I genuinely enjoy it so much. And I've been making these videos since, like I said, no one was watching. And the fact that five years later we're here and every single week I know for a fact thousands of people will be watching. I mean, that just means so much to me. And I thank you all so much for watching. Who would have thought this would be... I mean, like, I just think it's so cool. What are the ads? Like, we landed right on Christmas. I never realized it. I was coming up to this week. I was like, because normally I record these videos in advance. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Friday is Christmas. Then I went back to check. I was like, I thought the first episode of Serious Talk went live on Christmas. Lo and behold, I was correct with that. And the first episode of Serious Talk went live on December 25th, 2015. Here we are five years later, not missing a single week on December 25th, 2020, recording Street Race Talk episode 260. To today, like I said, is a very special episode, not only because it's the five-year anniversary of Street Race Talk, but we have a very special topic for the main topic. This isn't going to be like a normal episode of Serious Talk. I apologize about that. There is some news and stuff to cover that I could cover this week, but I'm saving it for next week because this week's main topic is something I have been waiting for for since I started Serious Talk. To be able to talk about something such as this as the main topic. I am so excited for this week's main topic. But before we get into that, we are going to talk about my thoughts and opinions on these past couple episodes of Street Outlaws Fastest in America season number two. We got to see the matchup between Team NOLA and Team Northeast. And I was right. I said I'm pretty sure New Orleans is going to either wipe them clean, beat them 8 0, or maybe Northeast will get a win here and there. And I don't know why Rankin didn't end up making a pass against Jerry Bird. I mean, he could have. I thought that would have been a really good race to see. But he said, though, he didn't mean for the bump 
to be like something to trick me like that. I just bump. That's just what I do. And I think he does do it for all his previous races. We've seen him make a bump like that, but Jerry fell for it and made a pass. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see that, and Rankin did end up getting the win. Good for them, but unfortunately, they didn't end up winning any other races, and New Orleans pretty much clean sweep them from that. But the first couple comments I wanted to say was in the first race with Scott Taylor, he the guy he was racing said he's racing a track car. And I just laughed when he said that because Scott Taylor was racing in John Doe, his street car. If he were to bring out his track car, track Doe, nobody on Northeast would have stood a chance. Nobody even out there would have stood a chance because that's probably the fastest car in the property. And I think it's just so funny because it's like he's just messing with these guys. He's going out there bringing out John Doe when he has track Doe to make a pass with. And I know they had it lined up and he was going to make a pass with it in the second round if it was needed. But the fact that He's got Tracto, and he's not even racing it against these guys. I'm sure he's going to race it against them when they race Black Sheep Mafia. And if they do end up winning, I'm sure we'll see it again in the finals. But it, the fact that he has Tracto and he's still racing John Doe, I just think it's so funny because, like, that's probably the fastest car out there, in my opinion. I mean, that Tracto has been insanely fast out there. And then... In the finish line shot of Kai's race in the aftershock, you saw something like get shattered or something. It was either a camera, a GoPro, a flashlight. I don't know what it was. It looked crazy, though. It showed like a slow-mo shot kind of of the cars crossing the finish line. And then something just like exploding or shattering in the middle of the road. I thought that was pretty cool seeing that in there. Then in the very last race, the guy Daniel in the green Mustang, he either made one of the fastest passes we've ever seen out there. Or they just cut it super quick with the cameras. I'm pretty sure that's what it was because it looked like he was flying. And I'm sure he made a fast pass regardless. But it looked like he was on another level. I'm assuming though it was just the camera work because if he really did lay down probably the fastest pass out there, I'm sure there would have been commentary of people saying that. So it, it looks like it was just actually the camera work that it made it look super fast. But it looked like, man, it looked like the fastest pass we had seen out there. Then the Black Sheep Mafia versus Nola matchup for next week. I hope that comes down to the very last race. Just that energy is something you can't replicate. Coming down to the final race in essentially the finals to get into the final boss stage, which is Memphis. Just seeing Black Sheep Mafia and Nola, how Black Sheep Mafia came from Nola. And just how fast all those guys are, like the camaraderie between them. I really hope it comes down to the final race because that will just make for such not only a good race, a good episode. I really hope it does come down to the final race. And then it was so funny when they were talking back and forth. Bobby said, no one can mess with us right now. Then JJ said to him, well, we beat you guys last year. I just thought that was hilarious. And the fact that they added that in, and they did like a real short cut right after too. Like Bobby said that and instantly cut to JJ. Well, we beat you guys last year. I just thought that was so funny that they added that in. And then in the race with James in the silver Camaro from Cali, I believe he was racing Jerry Bird in the probe. When he was staged, he had like green flames spitting out of his exhaust. It looked gnarly. It was just, I mean, I'd never seen green flames come out of a car out there previously. It just looked insane. But overall, I thought these were some very good episodes and I am really looking forward to next week's episode of Black Sheep Mafia vs. New Orleans. And now time to get into the top comment from last week's episode, which is from Chad Lugo. You said, how about Megatron wrecking his new car and getting right back in his OG car and racing in the same night with 10 likes and 5 replies? And I apologize, I completely forgot to mention that in last week's episode. I was so fixated on Birdman and talking about that. I completely forgot. I mean, that is one of the most badass things we've probably ever seen on Street Outlaws. I, I would say it is the most badass thing we've ever seen on Street Outlaws. This guy wrecks his car. Horrible wreck. Car was rolling like crazy. Thankfully, he was okay and was safe. Unfortunately, Birdman had to go to the hospital after his wreck, but we did, in fact, see him back out there in this previous Grudge Night episode, so that was cool to see. But the guy racing Megatron car, crazy wreck. Car was totaled. Car caught fire and stuff. Gets out of it pretty much perfectly fine, it seemed like, and went back and raced again that night. I mean, that is just a whole nother level. I apologize, I completely forgot to mention it in last week's episode of this talk, but seeing that that was the top comment of last week's episode, I was going to mention it this week regardless, but I was super happy that it was the top comment from last week's episode because you guys recognized on your own how badass that truly was. And now time to get to the main topic of this week's episode, and the main topic is, oh, I can't believe we're doing this. The main topic is about me. 
For those that don't know, this past Wednesday, I posted a really cool video, in my opinion, of my first street race in Betsy right here. For those that haven't watched it, please go back to this most previous video on my channel. It was uploaded this past Wednesday, and it is what I believe to be one of the best videos I've ever made. And all the support on that video, I just thank you guys all so much for that. I unfortunately haven't been able to reply to any comments on that because there's been so many of them and I've been pretty busy, you know, Christmas time and all that stuff. But I've read absolutely every single comment on that video. I've hard to just about all of them as well. I'm going to go back and take the time to reply to as many comments as I possibly can as well when I get the opportunity. But there were so many people not only leaving comments saying how cool they thought like the story itself was, but you guys that I, it just, this means so much. People were recognizing how I made that video and said, like, yes, the content of the video itself was super cool. I mean, I raced Betsy for the first time. That was amazing. But you guys love the delivery of how I made it. And that video kind of came full circle with my channel. It brought in all elements I've really mainly used in previous videos. First off, talking over pictures, exactly how Street Race Talk started as me commentating over pictures and stuff then the pictures itself were literally the full story of betsy from pictures and video clips and this and that all kinds of stuff i had in there kind of summed up the entire journey we've gone on with betsy if i'm not mistaken one of the first pictures i put up it was the picture of betsy up on the trailer was the first ever picture i took of betsy then the very first picture i put in that video was the most recent picture I've taken of Betsy. So literally from the very beginning to present day, kind of all wrapped up into that one video within the pictures and video clips of Betsy. Then moving on over to the commentary of it, I have never done this before. All my videos, when I come out here and talk, I'm going straight from the cranium. I'm just coming out here talking and stuff. But that video, I did not want to accidentally miss any small details and things like that. So I didn't want to just come out here and talk from my head and just go freestyle on it. So I decided to write out an entire script for that. And I spent more time writing that out than I did writing my final papers for this most recent semester. Don't worry, I did good on all those papers. But for that script I was writing out for that episode was just, uh, it was so much fun to do. I genuinely loved doing that. I've never done something like that before. And I was worried, I'm like, it's going to feel like a chore doing something like that because it's so similar to just writing papers for school. But it was so much fun. Then going out and actually recording the audio, I felt like whenever you see those people like uh, recording the audio for like animated movies or TV shows and stuff like that. Like I always see stuff of Tom Hanks reading this lines for Woody and Toy Story. I felt like I was doing something like that. It was just so much fun. And throughout that video, me making it and putting it together kind of encapsulated all the skills and techniques and stuff I've learned from making videos all wrapped up into one, whether it's video production and making the actual video itself then the actual real-life automotive car experience I've gained all wrapped up into one video. And the fact that so many people, and there wasn't just one or two, there was tons of people that recognized that and left comments about that in the comment section. Just, I mean, I can't put in the words how much that means to me. And to all those that were leaving comments, I mean, I think I only saw like one or two bad comments on that video. Just... You guys are the best. I thank you all so much for that. And so for a little more background on that story, I mean, I pretty much laid it out exactly as it was. People were talking about, like, you need to get more power in Betsy now. And I mean, I guess I do. And there, unfortunately, are no more street racing stories or videos in Betsy since then. That actually was a little over a year ago today because, like I said, I think it was December 19th, 2019. Or here we are, December 25th, 2020. So unfortunately since then i haven't gone out and raced betsy again any other footage of betsy i have you guys have seen throughout this past summer with the daily uploads but there is one other story of i'm not gonna say it if you guys caught the little like hint or message i left at the very end of that video you know what i'm talking about there is one other story i could tell unfortunately i don't have any pictures or video clips of anything from that night so i don't exactly know how i would do it but if you guys want me to make another video like that talking about another 
really cool event. I won't give it away just yet, but if you guys want me to make another video similar to that, please leave it in the comment section down below of this week's episode of Serious Talk because that video was so much fun to record and all the positive feedback I got on that was just, it means so much and I thank you guys all so much for that. But here we are, Street Race Talk, episode 262, the five-year anniversary of Street Race Talk. Who would have thought the main topic would be me talking about my first street race in Betsy? That was just a wild night, and like I said in the video, it is something I will never forget, and just, you, you guys are the best. I thank you all so much for not only watching that video, but sitting here watching this video today on Christmas with me. I'm out here recording, it's freezing out here, it's like 15 degrees, but I'm having a blast out here recording this video today. And, yeah, the main topic of this week's episode, I mean, I don't even know, like, it feels weird recording this because I'm not talking about something else, I'm talking about myself, it's kind of a surreal moment right now, with my own show where I come out here every single week talking about the biggest, baddest, craziest news in regards to street outlaws and street racing. Instead of talking about that, I'm talking about my own street race in my first car that we built here on my channel together. If you guys haven't seen it, go check out this most recent video on my channel on Wednesday of Betsy's first street race and the crazy story behind it overall it not only was a blast making that video the night itself was it it was something else it was so special and something i will treasure and remember for the rest of my life but here we are on street race talk after five long years talking about my first street race in betsy so that is all. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you all so much for watching TTVE. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to each and every one of you out there. I apologize, this isn't like a normal episode of Street Race Talk, but it's a special episode of Street Race Talk. We'll be back to normal, talking about all kinds of news and stuff. There was some stuff that happened this week that I will be talking about and discussing in next week's episode of Street Race Talk, which will be going live next Friday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And as always, I will be having a new episode of No Prep News on Sunday, Red Light Questions on Monday, Door Shutters on Tuesday, possibly a new video on Wednesday, and like I mentioned, a new episode of Street Race Talk next Friday. All these videos upload, go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, so make sure you guys click that little bell, turn the notifications on, so you miss a single video upload. Get more videos, Go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And make sure you have your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below about this wild journey we've been on with Street Race Talk. Let me know in the comment section down below two things. First of all, when did you discover me and my channel? What episode of Street Race Talk was it, if you remember? And also, too, if you want me to make another story similar to my first street race in Betsy. Leave that in the comment section down below. Top comment from this week's episode will be read in next week's episode of Street Race Talk. And make sure you guys check out the Betsy shirts and hoodies which are available at ZoomSXYZ.com or first link down below in the description. I also set up a P.O. box so if you guys want to send me stuff address is down below in the description. But again, that is all. Thank you all so much for watching and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to each and every one of you. Here we are on the 5 year anniversary of Street Race talk this was a very special episode and this will probably be one of my favorite episodes of serious talk i will ever record because for the first time in the history of serious talk on the five year anniversary we got to talk about for the main topic not some crazy street racing news in the street outlaws world but some crazy street racing news in my own world that being my very first street race in betsy and i thank you all so much for watching this video like i said merry christmas and happy holidays to each and every one of you don't forget to like and subscribe and this is sim abc xyz signing out